What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a super super duper special episode here up on my channel today and you're probably just like, dude, whoa, what, what, what is this first off? Uh, before you get into anything, Jordan, slow down here and tell me what's going on. You're playing Halo 3, and you're just like, what the fuck? You never play Halo 3, and I'm just like, yeah, I know, I know. I'm sorry if you guys are disappointed, but I actually, like, was looking for a game to just play, uh, just for fun, for funsies, and I have stumbled across my Halo 3 in my game collection, I'm just like, <gasps> I had so much fun playing this when I was younger, so I'm just like, yeah, and I completely forgot how to play, so that's why you see me shooting like a retard at this guy, who is also my teammate, and I'm just like, why won't you die, you're my team, but you're my enemy, aren't you, and I'm just gonna pass it off as a trolling attempt, um, I wasn't actually aware that he was on my team at the time, because this was only the second match that I ended up playing, um, I do believe I go with 16 kills or something, I don't remember how many deaths, probably like 4 or 5, I didn't really keep track, but nonetheless, it was still a ponage game, especially for my second game of uh, playing this in like fucking now, uh, how many years? I'm going to say like three or four, because uh, this game came out in 2007, and I really haven't played it at all. It was one of the first games I got with my Xbox 360, but that's... I haven't played it since then. Um, that's the honest truth. So I started playing this again, and that's why it's here. And I'm really having fun with it. I think I'm going to start playing Halo a lot more. Maybe starting getting into the Halo series. Maybe a couple years too late, though. Uh, who knows? Um, but this video here, you're probably just like, okay, random video with Halo gameplay. That's, that's always cool. But this is a very kind of special video, all right? Um, this is kind of like a milestone video on a, on a couple proportions. First off, the the main reason that I wanted to get this up and the other stuff just fell in place kind of coincidentally. Um, but it is my hundredth video uh, up on my channel here, and realistically, I've uploaded more than a hundred, but a hundred videos. But I've only have a hundred public because I took out all my vlogs and all that uh, because they were kind of pointless. They were just um, the filler. Whenever I was first trying to get partnered, I used it because, like, the more videos you have up, the more video views per day you're going to have. So, um, realistically, I have more than 100 up, but I don't really care that much to be like, okay, we're going to do this video, like, three months earlier. Now, um, this is my 100th video, so I'm going to say thank you, that guys, for that, for paying attention for all these 100 videos, especially, like, I know I don't have a huge audience, but I know that a lot of people do enjoy what I put out, and that's all that I really, like, care about, is that I am doing a good job at entertaining you guys, and that's really all there is to it. Um, if you want to be, like, a YouTuber, you got to entertain people, and obviously, I people are still coming back to my videos, which I love, and I, I'm really, really grateful for to have fans like that. Um, another thing is that it's, I just reached 50k views on my channel, and you're like, holy shit, that's like nothing, um, but as of late, it actually is, because whenever I first started this channel, I, w I was getting about a thousand views a day, and that carried for about two weeks, so about 14k in like the first two weeks, which is pretty damn good, uh, for a YouTuber, um, but after that, and I got partnered, and I started actually getting into, at the time, it was Vexon, um, I started getting in as a director, really paid more attention to the network itself as a whole, rather than my channel, I was a director, and then I also became a recruiter, um, and then whenever we moved over to Voltron, I became a uh, head recruiter and all that, of course, I paid a lot more attention to the network rather than my personal channel here, so I really, uh, I, my stats dropped off, so that's why it's kind of a little bit late, um, like seven months afterwards that I'm only hitting 50k now so yeah but thank you guys for 50k views thank you for my 100th video and at the very point in time that I'm recording this I do not have 400 subs but I'm gonna break that sometime in the next week hopefully because I'm only two subs away so if I can't get two subs in, in a week then I'm kind of failing um, but <laughs> I hope you guys can help me propel myself over that that'd be awesome uh, and if this is if I get 400 subs by the time this is up then fuck right fucking right baby we're all gonna have some cookies we're gonna have a party and we're gonna go fucking nuts um but yeah that's that's the three big milestones that i have for for this video and i feel like a complete retard because i'm talking to myself and i'm using hand motions and whenever i said there's the three big milestones i put up only two fingers i'm just like fuck <laughs> um but I do also want to apologize for no uh, IRL videos here, like vlogs, because I was going to, I had this 
epic fucking day in the life type of thing uh, produced, or not produced, um, but like the clips and all that ready to go. I just needed to edit it all together. But my douchebag friend was just like, no, nah, I'm not going to answer you whenever you ask me for, for the videos so that you can edit it together. So you can blame Matt on this one. So thank you, Matt, you jackass. I still love you. Um, but that's the real reason why I didn't get to have uh, an IRL day in the life type thing going up. I may do that sometime farther down the line, maybe a couple videos later if he ever actually decides to upload it. But we will see. So that'll be that'll be something to look forward to. Uh, it'll be pretty cool if you ask me. Uh, I hope you guys stick around and see if I do put it up because I think you will enjoy it. Um, but I have a couple questions for you guys today. Um, one of which is should I start being uh, a director for Vulture Games again. It's it's kind of gotten to me in the past couple weeks that like I really could if I wanted to still be a director, but do I want to? Like do I want to uh, produce another video a day or another video a week? And I know it's only one video a week, but I'm extremely pressed on time as it is. So I'm kind of like do I want to um I'm I sh I'm sure that because I was a director at one point they'll be like, "Oh, okay, that's that's completely cool if you want to upload again." Um but the the real thing is, should I like should I decide to do it? That's that's the real main main thing there. And I want your guys' opinion on that. If you guys can help me out with deciding that, that'd be awesome. And I'd really really fucking appreciate it. It's it's kind of tough to decide things like that where it kind of decides the fate of your channel a little bit. Um, yes, it'll be more publicity, but then it also opens up to like me having to try to please more people, which I'm always open to do. But it just gets tough, you know. Um, and another thing that uh, actually is opening up that I want quite, that I want you guys to answer is if anybody would want to become a recruiter under uh, on my team for for Voltra. And what you'd be doing is you'd be scouting out channels uh, and bringing them to me, and then you'd get a, a cut of the pay that I get each month for my recruiters, um, like for my recruiting job. And you're like, wait, what? I can get paid for looking on YouTube for channels that are eligible? What? Yes, that is extremely, completely, 100% true. So I hope you guys like want to take advantage of that. Um, and if you do, please be do not or do not hesitate to message me on here or on Skype. Uh, my Skype, um, just PM me for it. I don't really, I'm not too hesitant on giving it out. I'm uh, usually 100% like carefree about giving out my Skype because. I don't know. I just I I'm a people person, and I like talking with people in the community. So if you do want to become one, feel free to uh, to PM me or to just you know just chill, you know, be all like lax and days go be like, hey, can I have your Skype so we can talk about the recruiting? Por favor, por favor, for un cookie. I don't know what cookie. Oh, okay. um, fuck. I I God. I know this is completely off topic, but I know what cookie is in Spanish. I just can't think of it right now. Um, oh, God damn it. I don't want to say what I think either because if it's wrong, then I'm going to feel like some, I'm an idiot because I'm not 100% sure. But nonetheless, back on topic. Um, I know a lot of guys were requesting uh, the return of Mo Mondays and Let's Be Real, and I'm happy to announce that I am going to be uh, making a return of that series uh, here in the end of the month. Uh, later down the road, maybe towards the 20th or so of September. Um, I do have a couple gameplays lined up, so I hope you guys stick around for that, because that's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, Mo Mondays, I'm actually extremely excited to challenge myself again. I've been kind of lackadaisical on Call of Duty. My KD went down from a 2.28, uh, and it's down to a 2.24, and you're probably just like, that's not even bad, Jordan. Are you stupid? Why are you complaining about that? But I am unbelievably over uh competitive when it comes to that game and it, it pisses me off when I do bad and whenever I don't have a KD of like 2.5 per game I actually like will flip shit and be like what the fuck um <laughs> you can ask anybody that plays with me uh it's even happened in live streams on vulture games during the like live stuff like you're not supposed to really use profanity in the live streams just because it's it's still supposed to follow youtube terms of service but then there's me cussing my brains out like what the fuck you motherfucking douchebag you're camping in a corner you prick and i'm probably gonna have to censor all of that whenever i edit it but <laughs> um th that's usually me i'm the i'm the rager even though i am Fucking, I think I'm pretty good at Call of Duty. Uh, if I do say so myself, I, I like I'm not, I'm not shitty, but I'm not like professional. I'm like good on a public standpoint. Like I can't play game battles or competitive to save my life. But 
that's not really like the the main reason that I play. I just play to to be competitive and basically beat out anybody on my friends list in in, term, in terms of stats. And there's like only two or three people that have a higher KD than me, so I'm pretty happy with where I'm at right now. But I always want to be better. And if you stand in my way, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, but <laughs> not really. Um, but yeah, like I said, those those two ch- uh, two shows are gonna be coming back uh, at the end of the month. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. Also. I would really love for you guys to follow me on Twitter. My Twitter link is always in the description below. But I always, always try to communicate with anybody who's a a fan of mine. Even though it's my personal Twitter, I don't care that it's like um, it's a an, an integrated ugh, stutter, an integrated Twitter where it's between me and my personal channel. I have absolutely no problem with that, and I I would com- like I I could care less. Um, if you guys are just like, hey, you wanna you wanna talk YouTube with with your IRL friends? Cause like my friends know that I do YouTube, but I don't know how they feel about it. But I don't really give a fuck because I have fun with it. So like I really don't care if it's an integrated Twitter. So please follow me on Twitter. I always love to interact with you guys, the fans, and I will always answer because I'm always on Twitter 24/7 pretty much. I basically live on Twitter. I'm addicted, and I may actually need help for my Twitter addiction. Um, <laughs> whether or not I can get that, who knows? Uh, but Maybe I can get it, and maybe I need it. So who knows? I don't know. Um, but also the Facebook. I do have a Facebook fan page now. I created that uh, a couple weeks ago whilst in whilst in uh, Florida on vacation, and it only has five likes. So if you guys could head over to the link in the description below, I would fucking love it because it's just awesome. And yeah, uh, get in the van live. Also, is my new podcast, and it happens every Sunday at three p.m. But that's me in the end of the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. And be sure to subscribe for more. I've been Equal Espresso, guys. Until next time, take care. Peace.